Hello, and welcome to room 307 at Independence High School. I'm Ms. Sherman. Today we're going to be going over your classroom and what's in your classroom. So when you come in for the classroom for the first time, this is our Independence Represent board. If you would, you're going to take one of these little dots, write your name on it, and put it where you're from. This is up to you. It can be where you're born, where you identify from, anything like that. But that's your first step when you come into the classroom. Second step is every day we're going to have an objective board. Today we're going to be going over your syllabus, what's expected of the class, and things like that. So when a teacher writes an objective, it's usually students will be able to understand the fundamentals of Islam. It's something that's for the teacher. So what I've done is I've broken it down into I can, so that I can, I know I'm successful when. Because when a teacher wants you to meet the objective, it's really important that you understand what that means. So today, I can understand classroom setup, policies, and expectations, so that, because how are you going to use this skill? So that I understand what is expected of me and can earn credits for this course. I know I'm successful, so this means what happens when you know you've met the objective, like you've learned the lesson today. I know I'm successful when my work reflects the credit that I wanted, because that's really important here at Independence. You need to know how to get to earn your credits. What quarter we're in? And this is lesson zero, since we're just going over homeroom things. Key vocabulary is going to be down here. The key vocabulary is what you need to know for this, and for this one, content prompt, which we'll go over with the syllabus, grading rubric, thoughtful and mindful. So in this classroom, we're only going to have two rules. Be mindful. Does anybody know what mindful is? Aware. Aware. All it is is being aware. So if you just found out that your friend just got an Instagram from some, and you know you're going to talk to your friend for about 10 minutes, cool. Go back to the beanbag area. Go take care of yourself. That's the second rule. Take care of yourself. If you're being mindful of things, you're being mindful that everyone is getting a chance to, to speak. You're being mindful that whatever you're doing isn't annoying your neighbor. You're being mindful that your teacher can't read your mind, so you're asking for what you need, which is very much the second part. Every day when you come in, there will be a board. This has the assignments due this week. So for this week, you have a writing sample due, a get to know me exit ticket and classroom expectations. This will vary according to when we meet, but this is usually just to keep yourself on pace for meeting those 2.5 credits. This is our daily schedule. When I see you guys for an hour, um, I did this based on your feedback from your surveys. This is gonna be individual work time. So if you need to catch up with things, you need some help with the content, or you need that time to do your homework, this is a time when you can do that. We have a 10 minute built-in class break. If you need breaks separately, please take care of yourself. When you come in for two hours, we'll start with a 10 minute engage. What this is, is you're going over the homework, you're going over the content, you're fixing things that you didn't see, or as you'll see when we go over the syllabus, you get to see everybody's work. So if you already did your work, you're looking over others and reflecting on what they thought of the content for 10 minutes. So you're just coming in, 10 minutes, checking on your homework, finishing touches, if not reading what others had to say about the same content. 20 minutes explain. This is the only time I will lecture ever in class. And what it is, is we'll go over the content one by one to make sure anybody had any questions, what people thought of it, how is this relevant to our final project? How can I build on this? That's all we're doing for 20 minutes. And the 20 minute lecture is the part that I'll be recording. All this other part, I'm not gonna be recording you guys when you're on your computers. This is the only thing I'm gonna record is explain. Then the explore. So when you see in your syllabus, you get credit for in-class activities. This is the working in groups. A lot of you asked to work in groups. You like working in groups, so we're going to do that for 60 minutes. And you can take breaks in there. In this time period, there's two 10-minute class breaks. We can also do some other breaks if we feel like we need it as a class. After explore, you're going to exhibit. What exhibit means is we're going to show everybody our work. Everything in this class is going to be done digital. If you do it on paper, we can take a picture of it and digitize it. So that's not a big deal. So we're going to show each other our work. What have you been working on today? What were the things you came up with? This is for accountability. This also gives us ideas and inspires us. Any questions about the schedule? So when you come in every day, you'll have your objective boards, which is going to lead you on what that week's theme is. What are we trying to do this week? You'll have your assignments to do as a reminder. 
for what's due to keep you on track, and you'll have your daily schedules. Around the room is my kind of area. We'll have computer workstations. These will all be built in with apples there, and that'll be your design station for if you guys want to do graphic work. And then back here, we have a beanbag station that you can come to, and there's also a Lego station. So all of these stations are available to you while you're in class. Take the time that you need. If you need a five minute break, go do it on the beanbag so I don't think you're on your phone while you're working. If you just need to do something different, go do some Legos if you feel like it. The only rule with the Legos is if you destroy it, you commit to destroying the whole thing and cleaning it up. So this is the classroom. Welcome to my classroom and we'll go over the syllabus.